welcome. Thanks for joining us. We've got a perfect night for baseball on the show. It's the San Diego Padres taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Okay, all set to go. Stepping in for San Diego, Luis Arias. Luis Arias. The pitch. Nope. Just Ball missed. One. Ball one, no strike. And ball. there's a ball. Two balls, no strike. And the right hander deals. Nice ball for a strike. And that one missing low. Lifted in the air down the left side. And that's a fair ball. Well, that's one of those knocks where you almost expect to get some jabs from your teammates when you get back to the dugout. That's one of those things where, as a hitter, you kind of feel like you were due for something like that to drop in for you, no matter how good or bad you've been. This one's into the outfield. Could be extra bases. Coming home. He scores, and they have the lead. one nothing. Well done. Drives in the run. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced. He squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Tatis dives back in. Profar climbs in on that left side. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Singy, maybe some nerves getting the best of him in the first? Well, it's hard to know exactly if it's nerves or not, but he just doesn't have it right now. Those hitters on the other side, they're going to say it's nerves and use that as a competitive edge to try to jump inside, on him even more. And that's off the inside edge, and it's 2-0. Oh. On the ground, Edmund. Throw is low, and he can't pick it. Here's Machado. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Machado. Now the pitch is in for a strike. Going along. In the dirt. Okay with the count. Well done behind the dish. That one misses, and that's ball one. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of... Here's Machado with a swing. That one well hit. Deep left field, and it is gone! And they add to the lead. It's 4-0. Now at the plate, Jackson Merrill. In the air, out towards left center. Edmund makes the grab, one down. Sander to the plate now. He played in the Soul Series to open the 2024 season. Such a cool experience for both teams, Boo. For Bogarts, it was the fifth country he's played in since joining Major League Baseball. He had the chance to play in the London Series with the Red Sox in 2019 and in the Mexico City Series with the Padres in 2023. Well, they've been able to score four runs off of him in this inning, and this is where you want to just max out, get as much as you can, nope. give him one of those tough okay. innings where it's going to be hard for him to recover in the next one. And that one lifted in the air center field. Nice grab on the run. And there's two down. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those can be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. David Peralta in the box now. No balls and a strike. 
On the ground to third. There's Hernandez handling the chance to first, but it pulls him off the bag. Now here's Jake Cronenworth. The second base. Jake. Well, a really rough inning out there on the mound. And uh, this is one of those where you learn a lot about a guy's toughness and his ability Outside, to turn the, the page and keep pressing forward. And the 1 0. And nope. another ball. You know, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning. And it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. Left hand hitter waits. Just missed. Four runs already in the frame. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Cronenworth will take his base. Not what he wanted to do right there, but that keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. And the batter now, Kyle Higashioka, swings through that one for strike one. Ball one. In the dirt. One ball, one strike. Nice job behind the plate there. Fly ball down the line. Bets on the move. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that can steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? And a good eye there. When you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical things really well, look out because the sky's the limit on that potential. Right-hander kicks deals. Nope, that's a ball. 3 0 down. And he walked Inside, him on four pitches. Four. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling Here around the plate as well. Coffee. I mean, this guy is just capable right of here. hitting pitches outside oh, of the yeah. zone and driving them a long way. Yeah. Now it's Mookie Betts. Hey. Fast ball for a strike. It's 0 1. Darvish, multi time all star. He features a sinker, a slurve, a slider, a four seamer, and he occasionally uses a curve. Grounder might be two on to Bogarts. And it's a double play. I think four, six, three double plays like that, that are good. way tougher than these guys make it look sometimes they because no matter how you do it, the feed from the second baseman is a tough one. That's where footwork really comes into play, but right there, very well done. Teoscar Hernandez in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. Now Whoa, one and one. Now. Two outs. That two misses one. the zone. And a count two and one. Two and one the count now. He hasn't seen a fastball yet, but you've got to be ready to hit one because you doubt the pitcher hey. wants this to go to a 3 1 count. Two, two, two. The wind of the pitch. That three one ball. just two misses. Three. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Two outs, base is empty. Right side. He takes it himself oh. to the bag, and that'll do it. New inning getting started. Luis Arias stands in. Number four, Luis. Arise. Yamamoto back to work. Arise, yeah. an all star a season ago, a career batting average over 300, and they traded for him earlier this year. In the air, out towards right center. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there's one away. 
So with one down, it'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. I'm so glad Yamamoto made the move to Major League Baseball. He's one of the most decorated pitchers to come out of Japan and finished his Nippon professional baseball career in style. One down, base is empty. Ground ball, left side. Hernandez Pizza. over to first in time. And they the take care of Tatis for the out. Jerickson. Now batting Jerickson pro far. He's 0 for 1. He swings and misses at the first pitch. Oh, one. Facing elimination and pitching in game six of the Japan series, Yamamoto pitched a That's complete a game with 14 strikeouts and broke the series strikeout record held by Yu Darvish. What a way to go out. Two down, nobody on. Cut on and miss, struck him out. And it's a three up, three down inning. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now it's Max Muncy. Muncy. The right hander back to work. Hey. Well, the key to his success is getting ahead early in the count. He cannot afford to go deep in the counts. Doesn't have a ton of swing and miss stuff, so he's going to have to work efficiently. No ball, two strikes. Ball Next one. one misses, and that's ball one. Battling here as he fouls it away. And he deals. Foul ball still a one and two count. And the pitch. Fouls it off still one and two. Well he hasn't gotten the result yet but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. And ball another two. ball. Two balls. Two strikes. On the ground, right side, and he takes it himself for the out. And up to the plate is Will Smith. That's what a good sinker's designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. And that one hammered. Merrill going back. And that ball is gone. And they cut into the lead. It's 4-1. Comes Tommy Edmond. Takes a swing. Appeal down to third. And yes, he did. That's a swing, according to Gary Simmons. That Whoa. misses. And one and one. Yeah, one ball, one strike. One run across in the frame so far. Bottom half of inning number two. And a bunt towards third. He's in He's there. Batting seven. And then at first, and now it's Gavin Lux. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Edmund leads off first with one away. Runner on the go. Pitch in for a strike. Throw save. That's a stolen base. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. Right into the play. Ball two. Two two. Yeah. That Thank one you. misses. And a full count now. Oh. 
Swing and a drive. Deep right field. That one back. And out of here. That'll fire up the dugout. It's their second home run of the inning. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 4-3. Here's Kike Hernandez. First pitch misses. Ball one, no strike. And the righty deals. And that's down and away. Darvish, maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, pitchers, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. And there's the automatic. Well, he's been good for the most part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? No, partner. Every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in and you're not as focused, and I kind of do what it takes to get you on track, and then you have a great show. Uh, so perhaps it's the same with him. Nobody really wants their rhythm broken up, but sometimes they need a little pick-me-up. One down. Here's the center fielder, Chris Taylor. Taylor. And nope. that's outside. Okay. Ball one. Man at first, one away. That one finds the zone, and that is strike one. Taylor, a middle infielder by trade, played his college baseball at the University of Virginia. Ball, that's out. And another ball. The pitch. Line drive, base hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. To third, not in time. And it's runners at the corners with one gone. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Runners are at the corners, one away. That keeps the zone. 0 oh and 2. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. This inside, is off the inside. Away. It's a ball and two strikes. In the air, right side. Under it. Makes the grab. Runner tags from third. He'll score on the sack fly. It's 4-4. Four four. Here's Mookie to hit. Boy, we got ourselves a new ball game. Nice job right there at the plate. Sacrifice fly, and he gets in the tying run. Darvish checks on the runner. Runner on the go. Pitch in for a strike. And safe. It's a stolen base. And it's second. And a foul ball. Tied up here in the early going. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Top half of the third inning. Now it's going to be Manny Machado. Manny. Yamamoto back to work. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. This third inning is so one. important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. Toss to Muncy and one away in the top of the third. And now Jackson Merrill. He's 0 for 1. Pitch in for a strike. Going along. Well, we call that keyholing. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the game. Oh, base is empty. Breaking oh, ball down. inside. Now one and two. 
O2 curve right there. Hitter kind of expects that. And good job of just showing that confidence and trying to get back into this count. Out to short. Edmonds slings the first. And that quickly, two away. Here's Xander Bogarts. Right through there for a strike. And that one is lifted in the air. Betts brings it in with a nice run and grab. As we go, to, go. to the last of the third, here's the no left, left fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. Hernandez. The line to kick the pitch. On the ground to third. Jump throw. Low throw, and he can't take it out. Well, no waiting around right there. He was now ready pass. to swing it on the first pitch. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Max Muncy at the dish. Just nope. missed. Well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. And there's a strike. In the air, left field. Profar has a beat on it. Drops into the glove. The batter now will be Will Smith. He's already homer here in this one. Right through there for a strike. When you're struggling out there on the mound, hitters know that there'll be plenty of opportunities within the at bat to try to get something to hit hard. Tied at four. And oh. ball one. Really good take, especially with two strikes. In the dirt, and it's two and two. He's trying to stay down in the zone, but the hitter just will not chase. Now back in a 2-2 count, he's going to have to go to something else to get him out. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes, and now two gone. Tommy Edmond at the plate. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Darvis checks on the runner. Oh, Hernandez dives back in safely. And you played behind guys, and they love having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy That's having those elite defenders behind them. Two no. gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. Here in the last half of the third. And that's off the inside edge. Ball two. Boogan, the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. Next offering is in for a strike. in the air out to right Tatis pulls it down and that is that and we're back we and now David Peralta. David Peralta the wind of the pitch and there's the strike. You know, these Padres do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. Pitch count is pretty high, and they've played it four runs already. So I think it's safe to say their game plan is working out pretty well right now. Well, Jake Cronenworth, the next up for the Padres. Jake Cronenworth. Fought off foul. Cronenworth. A seventh round pick by the Rays in 2015 out of the University of Michigan where he was a two-way guy. That one is absolutely belted. And it's a one-hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Cronenworth into second and he's got a double. 
Now batting. The and here's the catcher, Kyle, Kyle Higashioka. Flied to right his first time. Just oh missed. Just missed. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2 0. He's put himself in a really good spot. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. Gets the call, and the count is 3 and 1. The next up for the Padres. One for two. Fouled off. He was late. Man on second, two down. That one the other way. Hernandez. Third out. Oh. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live oh, arm delivers. Just missed. Liner, base hit. So runner aboard to start the inning. Here's Kike Hernandez. That one ripped, but foul. Tied at four. And that one fouled off. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. At the belt and fires. Hit on the ground, might be two. On the Bogarts, and they get him easily at first. It's a double play. Here comes Chris Taylor. Sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details and how these guys execute them. Right there, really nice footwork, and a good feed to second was the key to pulling it off. That misses, and it's a ball to strike. And another ball. The pitch. And that one fouled off. Misses inside, and it's three and two. center field base hit. So now back to the top of the order. The batter, the designated hitter. He has, as they like to say, let me guess, Boo, light tower power? That's right. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. the zone. 0-1-1. One, one. On the ground right side. 
in plenty of time to first, and Betts is set down. That's all set for the start of the inning. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. Fernando Tatis Jr. And a pitch. Fernando Tatis Jr. signed by the White Sox 2015 for $700,000. And then eventually moved in the James Shields trade in June of 2016. Tied at four. Hanks and misses. It's a strikeout. Here's the switch hitting left fielder Jerickson Profile. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. That one fouled off. One down, base is empty. Look out! And it hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Manny Machado up to the plate. He's already homered in this game. Machado. Machado, a multi-gold glove award winner, a member of the 1,000 hit club, a former first round pick, runner on the move, and a foul ball. Profar, the base runner at first with one out. Runner on the go again. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. A chance now to take the lead. And at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Not close with that one. Two and oh. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches. My drive, that's a base hit. Throw back in, holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. A couple of singles back to back. You'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early. Laser could be extra bases. One runs in. A second scores as well. Around third. He's safe. And they clear the bases. And they're up by three. Now, Just a huge at bat right. New pitcher on here. Alex Vesia. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pin with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked what opposing teams did that to me. One out, runner at second. David Peralta at the play. Eight. Late on that fastball. 0 oh 1. Man at second. A little Eight. out front there as he swings through it. Oh, two with the count. Strike three. Got him looking on the changeup. Here's the second baseman, Jake Cronenworth. By well, the way, these two teams have battled in this game. You know you need more. Got to continue to add runs if you're going to get out of here with a win. Fouls one off out of play. Back to our left. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. And it's on two. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Next pitch is outside. Rarely will you see a pitcher just waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. It misses. It's a strikeout.
edge of the bottom of the fifth. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. You know, these Dodgers doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. The numbers tell us they're averaging more than a hit every inning, and they've only struck out twice, so they keep finding ways to put their bat on the ball. One Next ball. offering is downstairs. On the ground is short. Bogarts fields it cleanly. Zips it across. Yeah. And the leadoff man set down in their half the fifth. Now have Muncy Perfect. digs in. Good sinker yeah. ball in the zone right there and produced Muncy. exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. On the inside corner for a strike. Strike two. 0 oh, 2 count. Both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking, I don't want to get beat here. This is a good time for something off speed away. Kicks and deals. One and that's ball. in the dirt. Two strike. The Padres leading by three. Last half of inning number five. Out towards right center field. Sizes this one up. And there's two away. And now, Will Smith. First round pick out of Louisville in 2016. Not even close there. And that is ball one. Gets the slider in there for a strike. One and one. That's off the mark. Two and one. Good eye right there. Two down, nobody on. And that one is in for a strike. Okay. Two outs. And yeah, they'll do it again. Righty delivers. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. Chop back up the middle. Bogarts handles the chance to first, and they get the out on Smith. That's the third out. Set for the top of the sixth. And now the catcher comes up to him. Kyle Higashioka. Messia back to work. That's a little bit low. You know, these Padres, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. We've heard lots of loud noise coming from their bats in this one, haven't we? I mean, they've lost six hits at 90-plus exit velocity, and that doesn't happen by accident. Kicks and fires. That one's spoiled, and... The count now two and one. And now the lefty. Aye. He goes down looking. So the batting order turns over. Luis arrives now at the plate. One for three. And it's fouled away. Base is empty, one away. And we're the top half of the sixth. Ah. Swings and misses. That's strike two. No ball. It started two in and ended up on the outside edge. Just changing ball planes one. and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter to track. One down, base is empty. And he hits a ground ball right side. Lux throws oh. the first in time. Two quick outs now to open the top of the right sixth. 
Fernando now it's Tatis Fernando Tatis Jr. Jr. In the air out to center. Taylor under it. He makes the grab. And that's the third out. Back now, now for the bottom of the six, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Alec Jacob. And this is an important part of this game. Tight score and still a lot of outs to get, so they're looking for a big outing out of him right here to get some critical outs. Now, Tommy Edmond. For the Dodgers, the shortstop, Tommy Edmond. And a pitch. That's in for a strike. Back toward him with the breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. Fly ball to right. Tatis drifts towards it. Puts it away for the out. Maybe caught that one off the end just no a little bit. Couldn't quite like barrel it up enough to really drive it. Gavin Lux steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And a good oh, eye there. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. And boy, umpire didn't give him the call. I ball. bet you if he throws it again, hitter knows he's going to have to swing it. That's Next ball. offering upstairs. And a four pitch walk. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter. But he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Fernandez in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Left field. Profar drifts towards it. Profar brings it in. Here comes Chris Taylor. The center field, number three, Chris Taylor. First nope, offering and it just misses. That one lifted to left. That gets down for a hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Now back. That's back to back singles for him. Can't handle an open hand fastball much sitting on something similar because it's very tough to adjust to a pitch like that if you're ball not one. looking for it. Otani, the next to hit, out. takes ball one. In the air to left, down the line. Into the corner, but foul. <laughs> to third. To second, there's Cronenberg. That ends the inning. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Daniel Hudson. Just trying to keep this one close here. And this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. The pitch. Profar hey. leading things off and takes a strike. Hudson fills up the zone, forces contact, so not a huge strikeout guy, but he's hey. gonna make the hitters beat him. Doesn't issue a lot of oh, walks, so the down. pressure is really on the batter to make something happen. Here comes a pitch. Three. Swings and misses. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Here's now Manny batting. Machado now. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And although you like the fact that you know, guy throws strikes, guy gets contact, and not always great contact, the fact that when you have runners on, if that ball's in play, there's still a good chance that a run gets pushed across, whether it's earned or not. One down, base is empty. And Manny gets a piece. Command in the zone is such a crucial part of it, right? You know, it's not just throwing strikes, but it's throwing quality strikes. It's having quality misses as well. What's a quality miss? And he can't make the play. But plenty of time to recover, and that's the second out. 
Two outs, bases empty. And here is Jackson Merrill. Merrill. That just misses. And it's one and oh. Swing and a miss. I think he was sitting off speed there. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. One ball, two strikes. Now two one miss. Two strikes. Two down, nobody on. That one drilled left field. Dive in, it gets down. Could be extra bases. Safely into second, he's got a double. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. They got a pitch he could drive, but he didn't get too excited like a lot of guys do and pull off the baseball. Really good timing all the way through the swing, and the barrel was so on playing with the ball. Easy drive into the gap for that double. Fouled off. He was late. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit. Just not able to square it up. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Pulled the string of the changeup. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Jeremiah Estrada. Now, the Number 56. Jeremiah. Here's Mookie now. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. Mookie. And here it comes. Just missed. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. There's a strike to Mookie. In this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there. Profar settles under it. Makes the grab. And Betts is gone. Now One back. away. And now Teoscar Hernandez. Hernandez. There's a strike. Ball one there. Wouldn't Ball chase two. that time. He got two balls, one strike. Swing and a ground ball off the middle. That's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot up of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. Base. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Muncy. Here comes Max Muncy. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a ground out. Sliced hard but foul. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture no, that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. The 1-1. And there's a foul ball. Right-handed reliever. In the dirt, but kept close. And the runner stays where he is. That three one two. misses. And now it's three and two. So here we go. Base runner at first could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a... High fly ball near the pole. That one is foul. Totally hoping he could get a swing and miss on that, but doesn't fool the hitter with that breaking ball. Nice job, just couldn't keep it fair. Swing and a drive. Deep left field. 
And in one hops the wall. Rounds third, headed for the plate. He'll score easily, and it's now a two-round game. Picks himself up an RBI. This was a really nice swing. Didn't quite get enough behind it to get it out of here, but once it got over his head in left field, it was extra bases all the way. And now here is Will Smith. Now one finds a corner. Strike one. With the tying run at the plate, here the bottom of the seventh. One ball, one play. In the dirt, blocked. To third, got and it. got it! Right-hander kicks, deals. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Ryan Brazier. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of them right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Peralta in the box now as he leaves that one up high. And another ball. The pitch. Hey! In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds. They're looking for one. 2 change changeup. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That one hops against the fence. The throw is wild, and it gets away. No. Okay. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Now the batter now, Jake Cronenworth. Aye. Swings and misses. Oh, and it's 0-1. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first oh, and prevent that run from scoring. The 1-1 is fouled off. The one two. And ball another two. ball. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Betts hits it away. Runner tagging from third. The throw is oh, off on and he's in to score. And they lead by three. Here's the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. And first offering is fouled off. Brazier measures six feet even. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a sinker, and he works in a changeup. This guy's seen two changeups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. The other way, Muncie. And he handles He's it out. himself for the out. Back to the top of the lineup, and now it's going to be Luis Arias. And he grounds one to the right side. And that is the inning. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Robert Suarez. Here's the shortstop at the play. Tommy Edmond. Not short the pitch. Tommy. The shortstop oh, takes a ball. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. And that's off the inside edge. Now 2-0. Oh. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tie them up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Just inside off the three. inside edge. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Bounced up the middle. Whips it to first on oh. the run. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Gavin Lux, the next to hit. And a foul ball. The Dodgers trailing by three. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. Makes the catch for the out. Couple of pitches and a quick out. Two outs, base is empty. Now the third baseman, Enrique Hernandez. 
And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. One yeah, there's a ball. Two strikes. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Two outs. Swing and a high fly ball. Deep left field. That's back there. And that is gone. And they're chipping away. It's 8 6. Chris Taylor down. Three for three with three singles. Fastball in for a strike. 0 and 1. Late with the swing there. More and more guys are looking to slug regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on his approach. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Back here at Chavez Ravine. And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. The right-hander back to work. There's a strike. All one's the count. And he deals. That's out to center field. Looks. Tracks it down for the out. Well, that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a hey. nice catch right there. Profar stands in now and watches strike one. Swing and a miss as he was late. No ball, two strikes. And the righty deals. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. That one, one missing inside. Base is empty one away here at the top of the ninth. That's Next pitch ball. is downstairs. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. One down. Base is empty. Got him swinging. And now it's Manny Machado. Outfield playing very deep. Not wanting anything over their heads. And that's a little bit high. 1-0. and Count 1-0. And, oh. and misses inside. They get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. That one fouled off, two and two. Right into the play. And down on strikes. Padres go down one, two, three. We're back, and on the mound is the closer, Jason Adam. Oh, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pen to lock down a win. So this game has gone to plan, more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. And a pitch. Fought off foul. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. And that's in there at the knees. Deal two. And that just misses. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well. So much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. Swing and a miss. Adam out front for the strikeout. The Riders will keep bets now. Over four. Two ground outs, a fly out, and a strikeout. Right through there for a strike. That 
one's in there. No balls, two strikes. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. And it finds its way through for a hit. It's been a rough one for him so far at the plate, but that'll now help. Just one of those seen high base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you enough. Next to hit, Teoscar nope. Hernandez. Betts, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. That's to third. Machado over to second, and that's a double play to end it. Way to make a pitch right there. Get that ball on the ground. Defense picking them up. Huge double play to end this ball game. Final score of eight to six in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shopey saying so long.